Wednesday. Hey everyone, Tiro here, and welcome to my first Let's Play. I was originally going to start with Diablo 1, but I ran into a little bit of a problem. I suck at it. And when you die in Diablo 1, it reverts to last save, and I kept dying without saving, so I kept having to restart. I have plenty of footage for a blooper reel, but anyways, I'm starting with Diablo, because my name's Tiro, and this is the game that Tiro's from. But it's alright if I start with Diablo 2, because that's the first time you meet Tyrio. And also Diablo 1, you can't even run. And if you can't run, it's kind of boring if you watch me shuffle, like, miles. I am a car. So I'm... A place yeah, yeah. Come on, shut up, car. Anyways, so I'm going to be playing as an assassin. I normally play as maybe a necromancer is primarily what I do, but I thought this would be fun gameplay. And my first They'll quest never see me coming. is to look for the den of evil in the wilderness outside the road camp. Okay, it says the den, but I know it's called the den of evil. I also have the minimap on the side. I normally have it, you know, up front. Zombies! Die, zombies. Give me your experience. I do a lot of damage. I'm, I am impressed with myself. Look at that one gold. Come on. I'm gonna cut you. Cut you. Yeah, I wish there were bosses in this area, but there's no bosses in the first area. They try to be nice. Come on. What? Since when did I have a key? Yeah. Oh. Well, now I do. Experience Shrine! Kill all the things. All of the things. Because now they give double experience. Unless I go too hard in the paint and kind of, you know, get myself killed. Oops. I, I hit W and W is a bad thing. Okay. What do I want? I want strength because I can't wear anything. The problem is the assassins are too balanced. I, I don't know what to upgrade first. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to go for traps. Let's look at this. Okay. Martial Arts. Martial Arts is always fun. Phoenix Strike. Uh, meteor Fire Explosion. Charges and all that stuff. Finishing Moves. Shadow Disciplines. What do I get? Shadow Master. Uh, Venoms. I think I'm going to go with Traps. Just because I think that would be fun. I'm only going to be taking this through Normal Mode for the Let's Play. I'm not going to be doing you know, Nightmare and Hell Mode. So... I'm not going to have to worry too much about the future of this character unless I can come back and play it afterwards. So let's start with this. I got my first move. Let's go. Come on. Let's see, I'm going to set that to F2 and that to F8. Boom. Boom! Oh, right in the kisser. Boom. Boom. Cut. Cut your face. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for this. I think I'm gonna do maybe one quest per Let's Play and upload maybe uh, one a day, four days a week, or no, six days a week. Six days a week, totally. I'll do like one act every week for the month, maybe. I don't know. I'll make it so it lasts one exactly one month and then move on to Diablo three. Come on. Come on. All in. I gotta find that den. But yeah, this is Diablo. This is where my name's from, if anyone was wondering at all, if they hadn't played it. Uh-oh, I'm going too far. I must have missed the den. I'm all the way up at... What's her name? Flavi. That not that like the name of a Pokemon? She is that little sheep Pokemon. Oh god, I'm about to run out of energy. I need to find the den. Gur to you too. Oh, wow. I, I totally walked by it. I can see it on the map right now. And I, it's all the way on the other side of the river. I am retarded. I am entirely retarded. And I apologize. Because I am retarded. Anyways. Here's, yeah, I walked right by it. Look at this. 
Look at this. Ooh. Hidden sash. Give me your quilted armor and junk. Den of Evil, quest log, kill everything. Dark. Perfect. Come on. Eh. I gotta kill the shaman, he can resurrect them. No, stop resurrecting the little... No. Once you resurrect them, I stop getting experience from them. So it's not like I can farm them for experience. Cut you. Stab you in the face. Superior. Boom. You there. Get some. Yeah. Got it. Superior cap. I now have a hat. Let's see. Vitality. Let's go. And... Another one of these. I think I'm gonna go f all for traps. I have no idea if that's a good build. It probably is probably a terrible build. But we're gonna make it work. So now I just gotta kill everything. It's not that big of a place. So this episode isn't gonna go on forever. But... I mean, this is on YouTube. You can see exactly how long it goes on for. And once I get more moves, it'll be less stab than stab, and more actually, you know, use my moves with the ring. I can't even identify right now. So, what good did that do for me? Nothing. Zombies. This is not like the average Walking Dead. Come on. Yeah, it's just a lot of these same creatures. It, well, only for the den. When you go to new areas, new creatures are there. And when you go to... In the, uh, harder difficulties, it gets ridiculous. Like, in Act 5 of Hell, they just decide to throw every random thing at you. Like, you go into Act 5... Okay, where are you? I'm gonna stab you. In Act 5 Hell, it's just all the random most random stuff from every single act thrown into one. And you have no idea what's gonna be coming at you the next time. Even it changes when you log out and log in. Like, you'll be fighting spear cats, which are annoying as heck, because as a necromancer, you put up, like, bone walls and stuff to block their attacks. They can throw right through it. So, you know, they one-shot you as well. So, that's something. But then, as soon as you come back, then you've got these guys there. And then you get punched in the face. Ooh, corpse fire. Yeah, this he's a permanent boss. He's always here. But, like, there you're gonna see, if you didn't know already, that the bosses they naturally have in this, that just ran, random spawn bosses, have the weirdest name. Like, what they have is, like, a big just list of possible names. Like, or possible first and second part of the name, and they just throw it together randomly through a computer program, and it comes out to the weirdest shit ever. Oh, good. I thought it was cold enchanted for a second. It's just spectral. Uh, oh, no. Oh, great. Poison me. Oh, sweet. I didn't even know there was a such thing as set quilted armor. Green means it's a set item. It's part of a set that gives bonuses. I can't carry anymore. Shut up. You'll carry it if I say you can. Okay, apparently I can. Yes, brains. Level up. What to get now? I'm thinking dexterity, then a little strength again, because I want to be able to use better armor and weapons. So now we're 25 and everything. I'm going to neglect energy totally. Because generally I'm going to be using traps when you just lay down. If you're martial arts, then you need the mana from the energy. Uh, I think I need to... Use my town portal in a second so I can pick up all of the junk. Or else I'm gonna regret it. Oh, yeah, and for anyone who doesn't know, if I press Alt, it shows me everything on the ground. So let's go home real quick. I love this game. I've been playing it since it came out in like 2001. I was you. tiny at that point. And I said, Holy damn! That's some good armor. For, you know, a low level. Like, I mean, my necromancer is wearing armor that has 1800 defense, but I mean, damn! Just damn! And that sword is 2 to 7 versus 4 to 7. Goodbye, sword. Now, back to what I was doing, so this episode doesn't take forever and ever and ever. Den of Evil. I don't want anything you got. Oh god, I just got that horrible 
like Nicki Minaj song stuck in my head because I was watching it on the uh, react videos from the Fine Brothers. Like, they were having teens react to it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, do not look it up. It, it just It's just awful. So now I have... Oh, nope. I still have enough that it's not telling me how many I have left. Thought I was almost done. Dead road. Holy damn. What is this? What do I have, like, magic find or something? No. Why am I finding all this stuff? You're not really gonna see such amazing drops so early on. I think I'm almost through the den here. I've got this last little area here. And then we're done our first quest and our first let's play. The next one is going to be quest two, then quest three, four, five, six. Six may be inappropriate for some viewers. There's a reason this game is rated M and it's not all violence. No. Shield your eyes. I, I don't think I have to set a mature rating to my video for number six, but be warned if you're sensitive to things. Like inappropriate things. And we're done the quest. If I identify the stuff, I really could buy some tomes. Rogue encampment. The rogue quest log. Is done. Come on. Do 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 do. You have clicked. You have cleansed the den of evil, and I gave somehow gave you more skills. Tome, tome, so I can hold all my stuff. And we're gonna wrap up my first Let's Play. The next one will be the next quest that I get. And we're gonna work through this through October. And then in November, we start Diablo 3. And pretty to soon, I'm going to tell you... Scouts. I'm going to tell you how you might be able to play with me in Diablo 3 even before then. So that's a game that we can play together. So I'm going to get my new skill and then I'm going to close this out. Thank you for watching and I hope to tune in next time. Tyrael out. Why is she standing there? She's such an idiot. Oh my god, and she's dead. Oh well, I got this without her. I got it. That'll be fine. Oh, oh man.